Kylie's Roots of Peace Penny campaign was honored by the UN Secretary General's wife in New York in 2004 and by Colin Powell in Washington, D.C. when he was Secretary of State in 2004. Kylie has already chosen her next project. She spotted this rural village on the road to Kabul where children go to school in tiny tents. There were only three tents and five classes. And so two of the classes had to be held outside and in this blistering sun. She's hoping the Roots of Peace Children's Penny Campaign will be able to raise money to buy a much larger tent. And when that happens, she will most likely hear the soft voices of other Afghan children saying, Tasha Kaur, Kylie, thank you. And to find out more about Roots of Peace, go to abc7news.com and we'll link you to their website. Now, tomorrow night, we're going to take you to an active minefield where we make a treacherous walk to find out what it takes to remove landmines and how it's helping farmers in Afghanistan. A very unselfish young lady. Yeah, really. She is amazing. She really worked hard on this. And it's such a serious problem. I've heard estimates that as many as a dozen people in Afghanistan alone are killed or maimed by landmines every day. That's a, that's a good figure, yeah. Mm. That's a terrible figure, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. At ABC 7, Cheryl Jennings takes a treacherous trip across a minefield in Afghanistan. You're watching ABC 7 News at 6. Well, up next, Cheryl Jennings accompanies a Bay Area woman on a dangerous trek through an Afghanistan minefield. Our decision was to take footsteps forward for peace. We'll show you the slow and dangerous process of demining these fields and what has sprouted from the roots of peace. All right, tonight we continue our series, Inside Afghanistan, A Journey of Hope. ABC 7's Cheryl Jennings recently returned from a week-long visit there, and you actually walked through an active minefield during the time that Amazing. you were there. Yeah, and I came back, which is good. That's a very good thing. Yeah. We were with the founder of Roots of Peace, a San Rafael organization that raises money to remove landmines from war-torn countries. Heidi Kuhn and her teenage daughter wanted to see what's involved in removing landmines in Afghanistan and how their work is moving the country forward. Thousands of farmers in the Shomali Valley in Afghanistan are reaping the first major grape harvest without the fear of landmines after nearly 30 years of conflict. It's thanks to the vision of a mother of four from the San Francisco Bay Area. She and her daughter came to Afghanistan to see how the project is going. I taste of peace. It's delicious. <laughs> Heidi Kuhn's San Rafael organization, Roots of Peace, raises money to remove landmines in war torn countries, including Afghanistan. Her 18 year old daughter, Kylie, raises money to remove landmines from school playgrounds and soccer fields. This is something that needs to be done the landmine issue. No progress can be made without landmines being taken out. The Shomali Valley was on the front line in several battles. It used to be world famous for its sweet grapes and other crops. Some now call it the Devil's Garden because of the landmines and other unexploded ordnance. Not only that, the Taliban cut the grapevines down to the stumps. Soviet minefields superimposed by Mujahideen minefields, superimposed by the coalition-led airstrikes, cluster bombs and so on. So you can imagine the kind of um, challenge that we faced. Dr. Farid heads the Halo Trust demining organization in Afghanistan. Halo was hired by Heidi Kuhn's Roots of Peace organization three years ago. Heidi was inspired by the late Princess Diana, who also worked with the Halo Trust. That's um, our system. You can see it's uh, uh, demining is labor intensive. It's a slow job. You have to check every square inch. So why not hurry it up and use the big mine clearing machines we saw next to the roads? You do not destroy the um, boundaries between the terraces and gardens because this will create a lot of dispute over land and probably will cause fighting between two uh, families or, or even villages. That's why the slow and dangerous demining is done by hand. We followed Heidi and Kylie on their risky mission to see how that landmine work is done. Our decision was to take footsteps forward for peace. I think it was when they asked what my blood type was, that was a reality moment. Be careful where you are. The thunder in the ground. Kylie led the way through an active minefield in a vineyard where we came within inches of a mine. The Halo trusty miner was trying to figure out if it had been booby-trapped. Um, so you can see right now he is 
excavating with his trowel gently from one side. He is not excavating from top and then he see, you see he is probing, he's, it's, it's, a, it's prodding. Once the deminer learned the mine was not booby-trapped, it was time to blow it up in place. Another explosives expert laid a detonation cord. ABC7 cameraman Mike Clark set up his camera about 30 yards away. We moved back about 100 yards and waited. From the heart of a mother and, and walking hand in hand with my daughter through a minefield was an experience I will never forget. It was extraordinary to realize how much of a danger it would be had someone just, you know, not known it would be a minefield and walked through. The Halo Trusty Miners told me that any time you see an entrance or an exit in a wall like this, you can count on there being a landmine. In fact, they found 26 landmines just in this garden alone. Never give up, faith in love is intertwined. In the darkest night, this still stands a vine. As they were demining, there was a um, farmer that was right behind tilling the ground you know, just as excited to, you know, start his life with the dignity of farming and feed his family. As we remove these deadly seeds of landmines, we can plant the seeds of hope for the future. The fruit of the vine. You can find out more about my trip to Afghanistan at abc7news.com. Click on Inside Afghanistan and then select Cheryl's photos for a slideshow of pictures from the trip or you can click on Cheryl's blog for more insight on our journey of hope. Now tomorrow at 5 o'clock we're going to visit a Red Cross clinic in Kabul where we met landmine victims undergoing rehabilitation. You're going to see their incredible spirit and how Roots of Peace is reaching out to them. Such horrible injuries from that and I think despite all this work only about 25 percent of the country has been demined at this point. Right? They have 70 million landmines to go. Unbelievable. Yeah. That Thank is you amazing. Cheryl. Don't walk mm -hmm. through any more minefields would you okay. please. Thank you. This is ABC 7 News at 5. I could never imagine the atrocities that landmines cause. A Bay Area group gets a tour inside an international Red Cross clinic helping landmine victims rebuild their lives. Now just a moment, another look at Afghanistan for my personal journey. When we come back, the International Red Cross opens up its doors to a Bay Area group, offering a glimpse to the treatment landmine victims receive on their road to recovery.